This segment is brought to you by the Holiday Inn and Suites Grand Junction, the newest hotel in Grand Junction and proud sponsor of the Mesa State Mavericks. For reservations, call 970-424-5888. Armac preseason women's soccer poll, a shakeup at the top. Fort Lewis is picked to win the league. Metro State is second. The Roadrunners have won the conference title seven years in a row. Number three is Regis, followed closely by Colorado Mines. Next are the Mavericks here at Mesa State, UCCS and Colorado Christian. Checking in at number eight is CSU Pueblo. Then it's New Mexico Highlands, Adams State, and Nebraska Kearney. Mesa State is coming off a 7-8-1 record in the Armac. The Mavericks lost in the first round of the conference tournament. Mesa returns Daniela Ramirez, who was first team all-conference last season after scoring 11 goals. Ramirez is preseason all-conference this year. One of the top newcomers is Sarah Islas, who sat out last year after transferring from the University of Louisiana Monroe. During her sophomore season, she led the Warhawks in goals and points. Islas is looking forward to playing in the Armac. I hope to naturally take on a leadership role being one of the older girls and having uh, the experience that I've had playing Division I and the higher end levels of my club teams. So I just hope the girls, the younger girls, look up to me in a positive way. We're now joined by Erin Sharp, the head women's soccer coach here at Mesa State, now in her third season as the head coach and Coach Sharp. You have to be excited about the upcoming year, especially when you have some returning players like Daniela Ramirez and uh, Sarah Eastless. Oh, we're thrilled. Danny's really made some waves in the conference the last couple of years, and uh, it was unfortunate we didn't have Sarah last year. She wasn't eligible, but she's a tremendous player. She actually shook things up a little bit in the spring and, and have some coaches looking and saying, who's that player? How come we didn't see her in the fall? So we're excited about that. But we've also got 12 new players, all of which truly are competing for either significant playing time or a starting position. Now, you've been to the Armac tournament in each of your first two years, uh, made it to that round of six. What's it going to take to get into that round of four? Well, uh, we're definitely going to need to step it up because it's not only the round of four that we're vying for, but we're vying for that, that NC2A bid, which uh, isn't guaranteed for the top four Armac teams based upon the other conference in our region. But uh, that being said, um, our recruiting class is certainly going to help us, not only in the experience that they bring and the talent that they have, but we've got a lot more depth this year, which is an area that we've struggled with the last couple of years, and so I think that we've filled that void. Now, if people come out to watch the Mesa State the women's soccer team, what is your style? It seems uh, that you have some low-scoring games. Are you more of a defensive coach, or, or are you switching more to offense? Well, I have always been more of an attack-oriented coach. Um, unfortunately, our two big recruits last year, our two big goal-scoring recruits, rather, weren't able to play, and that hurt us. Um, we were in a game, in a lot of games that we actually dominated, but we didn't win because we couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Um, kudos to Danny Ramirez for scoring a lot of goals for us and being our, our leading goal scorer, but we didn't have too many other people with a lot of goals. So to answer your question, very attack oriented and this class that we've got, in addition to players like Sarah Islas who were on our team last year but who weren't eligible in the fall, they're big goal scorers and we're expecting a lot out of them. That is Aaron Sharp, the head women's soccer coach here at Mesa State College.